The GP1 comes equipped with an 11.1 volt lithium polymer battery, an international adapter to use either 110 or 240 volt, as well as an adapter for plugs worldwide. Here we have the GP1 stabilizer. Let's start with inserting the battery. Open the battery compartment. Note the triangle on the battery. Just slide it into the compartment and close it. The GP1 is specifically designed for use with GoPro cameras. It has an aluminum frame that can fit the GoPro 3 or the GoPro 3 Plus. The GoPro 1 and 2 are not supported. You just have to put the GoPro inside this frame, then slide the USB port towards the USB plug and push it in. Before using the GP1 for the first time, you have to perform an initialization process. See this button here? Slide it upwards towards the INIT mark, and it will be in the initialization mode. Now I'll demonstrate the initialization process. Place the GP1 on a flat surface. Hold it steady and press the power button and the initialization process will start. Now the GP1 is collecting data like temperature and magnetic field and leveling from a surrounding environment. Once it stops, the initialization process is completed and you can turn it off. You may need to repeat these steps when you have extreme changes in temperature. Now you can switch it back to normal position, slide the switch downward, and the GP1 is ready for use. Let's turn on the GoPro. You'll see on the back side there's a 3.5 inch LCD monitor where you can see the image that you're shooting. Compared to the original GoPro monitor, it is larger and the image is much clearer. You can turn the GP1 upward and downward up to 45 degrees by sliding this switch up and down. On both angles, you can rotate it 360 degrees. You can use the GoPro in upright position, sideways, or like this for low angle shots.